Hey guys, it's Marie here. Today I'm going to be showing you my party planning situation, or my Halloween party planning. We're having a Halloween party this year, so trick or treating. Well, we might trick or treat during the party, but anyway. So I'm going to show you everything I have planned and how I planned it, whatever. So on this cover piece, I wrote down the, every place I'm getting stuff from. Um, and I wrote down that I was getting the pinata from Walmart, but Walmart put me in and I found some stuff that I actually want to get. So right here, I planned on writing down stuff that I already have that I can use for the party. And so far, I have Halloween platter. And I probably won't write anything else there, but I wanted to write that down to keep it in mind. And then on this page, I started to write down games. There's some, I guess, how many candies I'm still going to do, but scavenger hunt, cup game, and balloon pop. I probably won't. Uh, but I found... Actually, I'm going to get this somewhere else. Uh, a little, kind of like a pin the tail on the donkey thing, but it's like a skeleton one. And then a beanbag toss, and an inflatable spider ring toss, and a pinata. And I'm not sure I'm done looking yet. And that's games that I do have. Bingo. Food, we're going to have skeleton pizzas, which is like a skeleton pan, and you like make pizza with it. And then a buffalo dip that I found online, and then maybe like cupcakes and witch fingers, um, which is like the pretzel sticks. I'm still trying to figure out I don't know why I have this written down here, what it was for. I do, I am buying trick or treat bags for my friends to use at the party, but I don't know why it's there specifically. And I do have, like, I wrote down everything in my cart, which I don't, I didn't even need to do that because I have accounts on all of these websites, so they just save, so I don't know why I did that. And plus, I've changed everything. Like, I don't think I have anything. Hold on. No, I don't have anything from this list, except for these. I got like three of these, which is a trick-or-treat bag. And then Amazon, which is completely different. I started reading um, reviews of all the stuff that I wanted to get, and a lot of it went away. And I think that was it, because I had only planned for Party City and Amazon. Everything else wasn't planned at first. So, um, I'm going to show you everything. So, here is my... Target favorite list because as you can tell some of these say coming soon so I can't add them to cart but here's the skeleton game uh, the other one from Party City was like put a smile on the skeleton I actually thought that would have been too easy because it's like where like you know you can put a smile anywhere relatively close to the underneath it's like eyes so I think putting heads in the right place is much harder and then this little bean toss beanbag toss game because it's only five dollars which is not a bad price and the pumpkins are just decorations I want to buy and then party city I have um they do the free ship thing if you spend forty nine dollars which for some reason made me spend like fifty I don't know why but that's the only reason these are here the little mini decorations because they're ninety nine cents so I have that and, oh, this is a game, too. I haven't written it down yet. But you put, I got a table downstairs. I'm going to line up these cups. And then, in obviously, 12 of them, I'm going to put the lights in. And if you um, get um, lights, or your ball, which I, I have to buy ping pong balls. Oh, I can do that on, oh, I can buy more eyeball ping pong balls. Anyway, if you get them in the cups, you get prizes. Maybe like if you get three and two one cup, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. And then, I want to get some of these little bags. So my friends can, you know, fix their treats and stuff. They're out the party and maybe trick or treat and whatnot. But they only have like, aside from like licensed characters, they only have like two different Halloween designs. So I've got three of these. And then I've got spider decals, another need to add that. And this is a light up hanging skull and it's only $5. So, I want to get that too. More of the hanging thingies. And that thing is $8 and it's like um, 30 cents, 3 feet tall. And this is super cool. I recently started liking the movie It, or the 2017 one. And I'm excited for the next one, so I'm getting that. Uh, these are decorations since, you know, I can finally add them. I didn't plan on getting them, but like, 
with needing to um, get to $49 and there's like not much that I wanted after really looking around or needed, I decided I can finally get them. And the pinata bat for the pinata and the three of these bags. So I wanted to get six different bags so it would be hard to like, you know, mix them up but they only have two different ones so. And then, sorry, hold on. I assume it's all in the cart. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was in that. I'm probably still going to be looking for games on Amazon. I know there was one giant one that I wanted, but it was like $20. And it's basically like ring toss. So. Okay, so my list of stuff on here is uh, Corgi stickers for prizes. They're super cute. You can't really see them, but they're adorable little stickers. Uh, fingerless fishnet gloves. And this is for my costume of tiger socks. Because I'm going to be giant realistic flying tiger and rainbow fabric. And this costume that comes with a tail attached in the ears. And these are like galaxy stickers. There are blue prizes for prizes. And that's the uh, ring toss game. That's it. I think I'm going to look for more games though. And I'll probably have time during this video. So Let me look at my wish list on here. I don't know what I wanted from because I don't think I really hold on. Ooh, did it just log me out? No, oh, I know. Okay, anyway, um, do I not have a wish list account? Oh, I do. Okay, good. So, um First we got table themed door thingies, and I think I want like the skeletons or something. I'm gonna put on the front door. And then these giant bowls for like a dollar. I think I'm gonna get a couple of these. These are a decoration thing, but they're the um, like solar powered lights, and I have to have the little cat, and I make a couple pumpkins, and maybe the ghost. Yeah, you know, I think, yeah, I really like these signs. Actually, hold on. Let me go look at them if they have if they oh, added anything new. <sighs> Ugh. Mm, sorry if you're the neighbors. The window's open because it's no sense. Party supplies. I'm waiting for them to add the plates because I refuse to get paper plates anywhere else except from Do Dollar Tree. <gasps> they have the plastic ping pong balls too. Okay, I'm gonna get those from here too. Um, but uh, they typically have like really cheap paper plates for like a dollar, and th paper plates, like Halloween paper plates, are so expensive everywhere else. So it kind of makes me nervous that they haven't added it yet. I don't know if they will or whatever, or if they just haven't yet. I'm waiting for it though. I love the decorations. I love decorations. As usual, they have pretty much the same stuff they do every year, except there's a little bit of new stuff. I think some of these design towel designs are new. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these might be new, but by the way, these are new. And these are new. I know everything says new, but that's just because it's like brought back. Those are candle holders. I thought it was a candle. That would make super cool. I have a skull candle from Target that I'm actually yet to see on their website, but I really hope they bring it back. Mm. Those look kind of new. I think I want some ceramic skulls this year. Ooh, that sign. Whoa, those are new. Well, I've had 
the tombstones aren't new and like not even like but not even like what's said they say or, you know like i don't know sorry so bad with words but what they say isn't new either that's what i meant um these are kind of cute but like i don't know i don't care for them that much and those are cute i think okay I'll, i question if i want the other one Hmm. More fun tombstones for some reason. Hmm. That guy looks a little new. Hmm. Alright. Let me see. Yes, I do want these pink pong balls. Where's the favorite part of them? Oh, there it is. Yes, thank you. And now let's ceramic skulls. And then what design? Oh, I think I want beware go back. Maybe both, who knows. But that's everything from the dollar store. And then lastly, Walmart. So, um, I see these every year, the little bloody weapon banner things, but I honestly think that it would look really good hanging down from my wooden patio area. And then one of these giant spiderweb thingies. I've always wanted one of those. That looks super cool. And then they have Halloween themed M&Ms this year. Like the orange, purple, and green. And then there's the pinata. I was going to originally spend like $20 on pinata from um, Party City, but then like I wanted something cheaper. Okay, so the videos are already 10 minutes long, so I don't need to get going on, but I want to. Because I want to show you guys the games that they have on Amazon. They're really, like, just basically, like, toss games and ring toss, and so. See, that one looks super cute, but it's $20, so I'm not doing that. And there was these little spoon eyeball ones, but they're expensive for what they are. And, um, no. that thing is cute, but it's $30. Um, I think that's the bingo I have. I got at Party City like a long time ago. Mm, see, like, they're all the same thing. I questioned getting that pumpkin one right there, but it's like, it comes with, like, just uh, three bean bags and, like, three th slots. Like, we're all teenagers. I want something that's gonna be, like, fun to do. Mm -hmm. That's cute, but it's $25. Mm hmm. See, yeah, I thought the uh, little bowling thing was cute too, but uh, for, you know, expensive, and they tend, to, like, the ones I've been finding, see, that's that game I told you about that I wanted. It's super big, but it's $23 for a ring toss, which I already have. Anyway, um, but the bowling just looks so easy, and I found a zombie one that looked kind of cool and not as childish. There they all are, but, but um, it was so expensive. There it is again, and it's taunting me. Hmm. Gotta love how every time I see it, it's the same price. Like, oh, that's that skeleton game that I told y'all about. Like, Hmm. That thing looks cool if it wasn't $19. So I'm going to end the video by showing you the zombie bowling that I found. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why can't I find it? There it is. For like fifteen dollars. I don't think it's really all that worth it. So. Yeah. Okay, real quick, y'all. I just ended the video and in the, like, related down here or whatever, I found this like, adorable little Halloween golf game that's, like, $20 and it'll probably be a little too easy. Everything is so cute.